May's monthly update is going to include a quick rate update, and then we're going to talk about the major rezoning changes that we heard about in Calgary yesterday. At the beginning of the month of May, we saw five-year Government of Canada bond yields take a quick uptick, and just yesterday they've moved back down. This means that you can still get insured rates somewhere between 4.79 and 5.09%, depending on the lender and depending on the deal. And this means that you can still get conventional rates somewhere between about 5.09% and 5.29%, depending on the lender. Those are five-year fixed rates. Variable rates saw a little bit of action this week. We saw variable rates as low as prime minus one, even maybe a little bit lower depending on the deal. So we are starting to see some more action in that variable rate market. The Government of Canada's next overnight lending rate announcement is on June 10th. We are not expecting to see a decrease at that point, but you never know. You'll have to stay tuned for our update on June 10th. Let's talk about the rezoning changes. Last night, the city of Calgary gave a green light to the blanket rezoning plan on RCG properties. This means that anyone that owns a property that has a single family home on it that's zoned RCG can build a duplex, fourplex, or potentially even a row house. All of this comes into effect on August 6th. You can apply for development permits prior to August 6th, but no decisions will be made. How does this actually affect Calgarians and Calgarian homeowners? First, this should add about 750 net new homes to the market each year. So there will be an increase in development. And in my opinion, I just think that this made every single family home in Calgary a little bit more valuable. Why is that? It's because you can tear down that single family home or make a major renovation on a single family home to add another suite or build multiple units. Overall, it means that the land has become a little bit more fertile. More people can live on it, and that means you can live in one unit, rent out other units, and actually earn income from that same piece of land that was previously just meant for one single dwelling. Overall, major change. Obviously, the vote was nine to six, so there was lots of differing opinions, but I do think it's great. We are having a housing crisis in Calgary. We need housing, so I do feel this is a great change for the city of Calgary. Mortgage renewals continue to be a hot topic. If you have a mortgage renewal that is coming up in the next four months, we can lock in a rate now and continue to negotiate with your current lender and the new lender for the next four months. This month in the update, we've included another video. It's a webinar that we did a couple of weeks ago on how to get the best rate. There's a lot of super valuable tools for anyone that has a mortgage coming up for renewal or anyone that's planning on purchasing a new home in the next couple of months. If you have a mortgage coming up for renewal in the next four months, make sure to watch the video. And if you don't wanna invest the full 20 minutes, scroll to the nine minute mark where we talk about the importance of time when it comes to your mortgage renewal. There's some great tips for you. As always, if you have any other questions, please reach out directly to our team. We're happy to chat anytime.